When your brain tells your body to run, it moves the large muscles in your legs to propel you into motion. This ability of our brain to move the large muscles of our body are our gross motor skills. Similarly, when our brain tells our hands to play a video game, the small muscles of our hands move our fingers about the controller. These are known as our fine motor skills. In this science project, you'll test how imagining what we do before we do it, called visualization, can impact our fine motor skills and model how this differs during spaceflight. For this project, you can create or print the shape tracing figure to test your fine motor skills. Trace each shape for each condition of the experiment. To model normal gravity, you'll trace each shape with your dominant hand. To do this consistently, make sure to trace each shape as quickly and accurately as possible. Ensure to trace multiple of the same shape to represent independent trials of the same shape. To model changes in gravity during spaceflight, you will repeat the same method, but trace each shape with your non-dominant hand. This will create our baseline motor skill performance before visualization. Visualization is when we imagine what we will act out before we actually do it. To visualize accurate tracing, close your eyes for one minute and imagine tracing the shapes as accurately as possible. After visualization, repeat each of the conditions as before to see if visualization can improve the accuracy of fine motor skills. Does visualization impact them? What do you observe? After you test your performance, you can calculate the accuracy by counting the number of fully traced lines and dividing it by the total number of lines in the shape. We recommend testing and comparing multiple shapes to control for the possibility that some are easier to trace than others. Compare and contrast your results to understand how fine motor skills are likely impacted by spaceflight and how visualization impacts fine motor skills. For more detailed instructions on how to do the science project yourself, use the link in this video's description. Thank you for watching and see you next time.